welcome to this week's Warriors HQ, ahead of this weekend's European Rugby Champions Cup opener, away to Racing 92. Coming up on this week's show, we've got highlights of our 35-30 win over Cardiff Blues. We speak to new signing Shalva Mamakashvili, and we're at the European Rugby Champions Cup launch in London. Today, the Warriors announced a new signing, with hooker Shalva Mamakashvili joining the club until the end of the season. Shalva, welcome to Glasgow Warriors. Tell us about how your move to the club came about. Hello, hello to everybody. I'm really glad to uh, be here, and uh, I, I played the World Cup like a uh, month ago, and after that, uh, agent contacted me, and he said that Glasgow needs a hooker, and so I'm here. And um, you were obviously involved at the Rugby World Cup, as you said, playing for Georgia. How did you find that experience? Yeah, it's a tough experience. Tough experience. It's a first World Cup for me, and we played against uh, huge teams like Argentina and uh, New Oblacks. And I think I will have a big experience after that. Yeah, as you said, taking on the All Blacks, they obviously went on to to win the tournament. What was it like um, coming up against them and testing yourself against the best in the world? Yeah, you're right. You're testing yourself against best team in the world, so you can do, you can reach your maximum. I think. Played in the, the European Rugby Champions Cup, we obviously start that competition yeah. this weekend. Um, what's your sort of memories of those games? Yeah, I played last year, the European Champions Cup, uh, when I was in Sale. I played in, against Clermont also. I had a uh, like French experience also, and well, it's a tough tournament. Yeah, one of the best in the world. Europe, yeah. How are you finding Glasgow Warriors so far since you've uh, come to the club and started training? 
Yeah, I come here 10 days ago, like I started training, I, and uh, all the players are really um, uh, welcoming me, and I'm going uh, getting to settle in, and it's really good atmosphere in team, really professional, and I feel really good here. 34-year-old scrum half Mike Blair was surprised after training this week when Emily Finlay presented him with the McRae Financial Services Warrior of the Month Award for October. Oh. Yes! Oh, thank you very much indeed. Nobody. Fantastic. That was a romantic <laughs> Emily is a big rugby fan and currently Scotland's oldest children's ward patient in the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital in Glasgow with a rare form of childhood cancer, neuroblastoma. Also nominated for the award, which supporters voted for on Twitter, were Adam Ash, Rob Harley and Pat MacArthur. Last week, new captain Johnny Gray and head coach Gregor Townsend were at the Twickenham Stoop in London for the launch of this season's European Rugby Champions Cup. It's a, a special year this year with the World Cup and rugby showcasing and all the positive things that, that exist in the sport and now we've got a brilliant tournament on the horizon. 20 best teams in Europe and in terms of our pool we've got some, some great opponents to go up against. Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, there's a huge buzz about the club and uh, yeah, everyone's really looking forward to continue the rest of the season. All the boys have come back in now so um, yeah, I'm just happy to, to beat Glasgow for the next few seasons. I think they, they just want to want to play at the highest level. The, the players that have came back from Scotland have experienced um, the game at the highest level with the, with the World Cup. So they, they want to play in the biggest games for for us, and it means the competition is rife at the club when you bring 20 players back in who've been at the World Cup, and uh, and they've shown a real positive attitude at training. And it's great that as we head into that Racing game. Everyone that is fit will have had played a game for us this season. Yeah, it's going to be very tough. Um, you look at the park; it's a really physical, tough park, and they've got some dangerous battling and some dangerous runners throughout. But um, yeah, to go away to France will be a tough place to go. Um, but it'll be, a, it'll be a great experience to test ourselves. But um, like I said, we need to get preparations right going over there, and yeah, we need to work hard as well. And uh, hopefully, we can get the result. But yeah, it's going to be a tough challenge. Warriors HQ returns next Wednesday evening at 5pm on Glasgow Warriors TV. Catch it all at youtube.com forward slash Glasgow Warriors.